Thank you for joining for the demonstration of Loan Logic's Idea on Demand, which is our cloud-native turnkey digital assistant that automates document classification and data extraction in mere seconds, helping both speed and accuracy during the origination process and any other time-sensitive workflows. My name is Craig Sylvester, and I am Vice President of Sales here at Loan Logics. As an introduction to the demonstration, let me tell you one of the reasons Loan Logics developed this, this product. As we know, one of the industry challenges is that many, many organizations are still manually processing documents. Not only is it expensive and slow, but it's also prone to error. It slows workflow, potentially impacting both the closing date and the borrower experience, and certainly loan quality issues downstream. To address these issues, Loan Logics introduced Idea on Demand last year. It was fully built cloud native, which helps us take advantage of the superior cloud native delivery methods and design principles. Major benefits of cloud native delivery include scalability, providing high availability and high security. And lastly, it allows for rapid development cycles for enhancements. Now let's dive into the demo. Before I begin processing documents, I wanna talk about a couple highlights of the system. Number one, the system is fully configured and set up. As a matter of fact, we can add new users in as little as 30 minutes. The system has already been trained to recognize over 480 document types and extracts of over 8,000 unique data elements in the loan file. Couple configurations. Uh, first of all, we have an audit trail. So you're able to know what happened, when and by who on, on any, of the, any of the loans that you're processing. Confidence scoring. So not only do you have the ability to set a global confidence score, but you can also set it not only by document type, but then also by the unique data element contained with any of the documents. And then stacking orders, those can be built or configured on the fly. And lastly, document taxonomy, configure on the fly and translate the name, your specific name for export. So let's begin doc processing. There's four steps involved. Number one, upload of the document. Number two, classify. Number three, date extraction. And then lastly, export of the document. Now I'm gonna do this manually right now within the UI, create a new loan. But just so you're aware, you can also utilize our API to build a call out to the system, and this would happen in an automated fashion. So let's upload a document. I'll upload a loan estimate, which is data intensive. Now, while the system's looking at that document for, for uh, automated document recognition, let me go into a file that I uploaded prior to our call today which has nine pages, seven different document types, and the machine had one low confidence score as far as the indexing was concerned, and it's, it's this document right here. Well, if we zoom into this document, we can see it's a heavily redacted W-2, so I will confirm that that's a W-2. And you'll see over here to the left, these are all the different documents that are uploaded with that package. Now that I've, now that I've completed the indexing on that, we're gonna submit that for data extraction. Now, while, while that's happening, let's take a look. We had this other document, this LE that I uploaded. The system automatically recognized what the document was. However, there were four different data elements that the system had a low confidence score on. So let's go through and we'll review each one of those data elements. And you can see very simply in the tab formation, you tab over 
It will zoom into the specific data element contained within the document, and you can see that one is correct. And we're going to keep going through this until we complete all the low confidence scores from the particular document. Very simple process. So now for the loan estimate, we've identified it as a loan estimate. And then we've also done some significant data extraction throughout the loan file. Now let's go back to the pipeline and we're gonna see, we did index this one with nine pages and seven document types contained within this loan file. We have seven, excuse me, 12 exceptions to the data contained in this, in this file. And again, I'm showing exceptions only, but you can see all the different documents we've taken data from. And then let's clean up the data contained in this income submission file. That one's correct. That's correct. And here's an error that we found. The machine assumed that that numeric sign was a five and it's a dollar sign. So we'll change that. We'll save it. We'll move through the rest of these. So you can see it's a very simple process. So now that we've indexed the seven documents, extracted and purified data, let's go back to the pipeline and I'll review some of your export options. Now remember, you can do this manually here in the UI, but also in an automated fashion via API call. So three options. Number one would, would be the PDF containing all the documents, the JSON, which can say, contains descriptive details, including the values found on the documents, the coordinates, and the confidence scores. And then lastly, a MISMO 3.4. So let's do a brief recap of the demo we've seen. Number one, for file delivery, you're able to do it directly in the UI, or you have the ability to build to the API and simply make a call for both document upload and then output delivery. We reviewed the user interface, the simple exception management process for low confidence scores, the audit trail for each individual file, and then also the configurability, both stacking order and document ta taxonomy can be adjusted on the fly. And then you have the ability to drill down confidence scores, not only to the document level, but all the way down to the individual data field level as well. If you have any additional questions or you're interested in a demo for your team, please reach out directly to me at craig.sylvester at loanlogics.com. And I hope to see you all at one of the live MBA events before year's end. Thank you.